Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Karex and we are taking a look at Ostriv sort of late 2020 gameplay as it's uh, been in early access for a few months and updated a few times. So this should be a uh, good up to date footage and gameplay for, for Ostriv. And we're just talking through uh, some of the ideas and just sort of chatting about uh, the future of the game maybe and some of the potential and some of the suggestions and things and and, and what we like and, and what's maybe kind of missing and what, what we can maybe expect and stuff. And, just sort of having discussion about the game and, and just hanging out and playing the game. It's a very relaxing, very peaceful, very, very sort of enjoyable game for what's here, but it is very much unfinished, right? We're talking about a game that's maybe 20% finished. So there's a lot more work to do maybe before it's it's sort of worth its its price and, and such, but I am hopeful this will be pretty cool. Um, everything that's in the game seems to be of a very high quality. But guys, if you're just tuning in now, uh, keep in mind there's a playlist link down below. That'll get you started at the beginning. So that, that'll get you uh, going on episode one. Uh, the playlist will uh, will have you starting at episode one, so that you can kind of uh, keep up with what we're talking about and and, and what we're uh, what we're doing here in the game. Right? We've survived our first year. We're already midway through our second year. We have a full agricultural uh, sort of element going on here. Um, we are growing sunflowers. That's kind of very pretty. Seeing these sunflowers in the field growth they're they're in the gr uh, growing stage and then they'll shift over to ripening but it looks like we're at least 50 percent growing i feel good about that we'll see how that does looks like we have an ooh, a new messenger over here they're willing to buy some more charcoal already they're willing to buy some more charcoal already these guys are just flying at us do they got chickens because we need chickens let's let's sell 2,000 charcoal while we have the chance they're actually willing to buy chicken eggs but again i feel like as soon as we're making these other food sources we want that for our own community's food diversity we don't want to sell these like hard to get foods a lot of the times I, I find at least uh, we could buy pigs and cows and horses from them but it doesn't look like they're selling chickens we know this town here has chickens for sale we just have to wait till they visit us again in the future we are working on um, building up the chicken coop oh we can actually create the fourth field here and every farm can have four fields and I'm just going to kind of do this because Hmm. That's too long. Hmm. I'm kind of just spitballing here, guys. I'm just trying to think, like, what can we do? How can we sort of uh, adjust this? Like, is this going to be too sort of... What is that right there? What is that little bench thing or something? Would this be too... Uh, obscuring of, of sort of traffic through the area if we did it like that. And certainly that would become a main throughway there. That is kind of goofy, but there is a throughway there, there's a throughway there. I think eventually this tent's going to get removed once we build a town hall. Um, and this is a very agricultural area out here, so I think this will be fine. In addition to this, I'd like to put some more hay dryers out here too. And these won't affect people's pathing. It just it's just sort of an, this annoyingly uh, large uh, sort of place that gets plopped down. Sort of throwing them around the... Uh, kind of means that we're not going to be able to build any buildings in there, though. That is the case. Um, what we should do is let's switch this to... Um, I don't know. We could do another potato into buckwheat sort of uh, rotation. And then a rest. Let's do that. Let's activate the field. Now nothing's going to be done there this season because we're too late. These pathways that are going through will we'll be able to shift around. Looks like we also have the entrance down here. That's a little goofy, but it is what it is. But that's our four fields. That's that's a nice, good farm right there. We're definitely going to want a lot of laborers to be able to work here seasonally. Um, oh, oh, are we running out of nails? Can't find nails anywhere. Whoops. Uh, we definitely have, we have iron, but we don't have charcoal. I think this is a charcoal issue. See, we're making charcoal up here. There should be, uh, and we're making firewood here. So we just, we're kind of depleted on our charcoal. That's because we've been selling a lot of charcoal, right? And we're trying to accumulate that into the trading post here. So that's been kind of hogging all the charcoal and we're not making enough nails. Unfortunately, that's kind of stalling us out a little bit on that. So these builders aren't really doing anything right now while we don't have nails. Let's, let's fire those guys for now. And we'll slot those guys back in when we get, uh, when we get the more, when we get the nails that we need to continue building. 
moving along at speed three here everything's looking good and sometimes honestly i like just going down to speed one and just sort of enjoying the the sights i guess really neat maybe you maybe you just go into speed one and you you put some trees down and stuff i mean look how detailed this is you put a tree down and you might be thinking oh yeah it's just gonna be a tree no you actually go someone has to go here and plant the tree and it has to grow it's just crazy it's just crazy to me you can kind of put some benches here and people will actually rest on these things i don't know if they need to rest but it sure does look cool when they use these areas i hope the music's not too loud guys it looks like it kind of flares every once in a while and these pathways can be good for actually directing traffic let's do something a little let's do something a little lighter a little less or or sort of more yeah, it's kind of big i think i think that first one's maybe our best bet but i'm just trying to help oops. i don't know how to how, to, how do i diesel i keep having to go back and recollect it. i just want to sort of like get rid of the first point you know what i mean that's what i was sort of test uh, trying to test there for a second but then we do a little bit there and and just sort of like have a little bit of a wall there it looks like there's a there's a space we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to actually connect those unfortunately so there's a little bit of a, a goofy section there can we put the bushes in here maybe space is occupied yeah it doesn't like it put a bush there there we go we'll have a little tree we have a little walking area and then Hopefully the main pathway will be here. Maybe we'll need to move this eventually because that really does kind of jam us in there. But well, we got a little sort of triangle that's been decorated, right? A little green triangle. If you're a fan of uh, Planet Zoo or, or Planet Coaster, you'll know what I mean by the green, the green, the infamous green triangles. Uh, and decorating those is, is of the utmost importance. We got tons of green triangles all over the place. But yeah, for the most part, a lot of it is just like, okay, let's let's keep building more um, sort of food sources. And what does that take? What does that mean, right? To be able to to get cows. What what else? What are the considerations we need? Well, we need hay. That's why that's why these hay things are important for the cows. Um, and, and a tanner um, will be able to process the. Uh, once we have the cow shed, we'll want a slaughterhouse, and then we'll want a tannery, uh, and to fully process the cows once once they're you know after we've milked them and such. But for the most part, we've been able to do a lot of a lot of stuff here. You know, a weaver's place will be able to process the hemp that we're going to be growing in the next season. So maybe we'll want to put down a weaver. In fact, actually, what we could do is we could sort of chop up. We could sort of break up a little bit of the monotony. We thought about putting two chicken coops down here, but maybe we put this down next to one of the chicken coops because it kind of fits that space naturally. And then we put another chicken coop over here and we sort of like uh sort of staggered a little bit with the chicken coops the chicken coop spam although i have a feeling that the chicken coops are going to be they're going to be they're going to be good for us i mean i don't want to really get rid of that pathway it seems like a nice good diagonal pathway wait right there i don't know what's really going to be able to get built in that little skinny area though Also, we're going to want cows, right? We're going to want a cow shed. Um, yeah, maybe the cow shed goes over here. Because that can kind of fit there without disrupting those roads. The cow shed needs a pasture, right? We're going to need a dedicated pasture area. This might be too small for this area. The cow shed might need to actually be like like out here or something with, with a big pasture. No, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, guys. And you can always, I mean, you know, it's part of the process, right? You like the way it looks, you don't like the way it looks, you rebuild it, and it's no big deal. Just nails and wood, guys. Just nails and wood. And we are basically stabilized to the point of, heck, we have more money than when we started with. See, these people complain about food diversity. Whoop. Complaining about food diversity. They got flour, they got potatoes, but that that's all they got right now. I mean, they're running low on, on flour and they're running low on potatoes. So we kind of need to be able to get, like, getting this fish up and going is going to be is going to be important. Um, 
Let's get people back to back to building. We don't need so many people working here anymore. In fact, the truth is we probably don't really need even that worker there unless we're actually doing a trade deal, right? Unless we're explicitly doing a trade deal, we don't really need workers working in the trading post. They already have the 8,000 charcoal stockpile. Great. They're ready to uh, to sell that once the uh, once the town demands it again. A new family is settling in our town. Hey, hooray. We got a lot of open vacancies. That is probably because it is labor time. It is sort of a harvest time. We're basically, which is kind of neat because this is sort of a time of year where people that don't have a job can come and work as laborers and, and essentially just help with the harvest, which actually I think is very, very historical, very, very thematic. Um, that during the sowing, during the planting, and during the harvesting is when you need a lot of labor. Perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we got all that sort of scooped up. We just need to go pick up those resources now. You can see here we have a lot of sun. Oh, we're going to need to use our sunflower. We do not have an oil workshop. We do not have an oil workshop. Hmm. Do we want to save this for more housing or do we want to try to cram um, a singular building back here? I don't know. That's, gonna, that's really going to sort of There's like a pixel where this fits. I, I didn't want to mess with that pathway. It's a good pathway. It's a good pathway. But let's let's put that in there. Yeah, because I think honestly, I'm I'm thinking like another home right here would would totally fit. We could probably fit two homes here. I want to put these in just to see if we can get them in. But I'm gonna yeah, they're gonna be at the end of the queue, and we might put them on pause. That should be enough space to create a pathway through there, but man, that's gonna be a little tight. A little tight. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause these. I'm gonna pause these. Oh, we have new persons visiting town. They're visiting from this village and they do not sell chickens. As far as I can tell Everyone buys and sells stuff for the... In fact, you can actually buy the uh, charcoal for the same price that you end up selling the charcoal to over here, which is... I don't know if that quite makes sense from a gameplay perspective. Um, but we could just we'd be like, you know, let's just buy a, a thousand iron. Let's just... We know we're going to be running out of iron. In fact, how much iron do we have right now? Yeah, we only have 278 iron, so we're running out of iron. So make sure we have one worker working here um, so that we can uh, we can do that. But we have a lot of sunflower that's accumulating, right? We have 2,000 sunflower. We need to process the sunflower oil. That'll give us a new type of food source. That will give us a big new type of food source. But look at the nutrients on this field. It is devastated. The, uh, the, the red is completely devastated. Although the hemp, conveniently, the hemp does not require very much red. So we could actually, we don't even need to do the rest year, but we're going to do a rest year anyways, just in case. Because if we, I think if we more, if, if we plowed the field for sunflower, I bet you we would have depleted all of the red instead of just 90% of it. I don't know, maybe that's actually, maybe that's actually a possible rotation to go sunflower into hemp and then rest. That might be possible, I don't know. Well, if that's the case... Okay, how much does how much does the hemp take? Ten percent and uh, sixty nine percent. It's saying that takes thirty percent. So technically, yeah, let's get rid of that rest and see if that works. See if it goes straight from hemp into a sunflower without any issues. It'll tell us if it it'll tell us if there's a fertility issue. So we'll see if that works or not. Yeah, food diversity is starting to become an issue, guys. Food diversity is becoming an issue. We do have people that can start working here, and we can start ordering boats. Right? We have the fishing docks. We need to order boats. Boats are built at the at the boatyard. Let's hire two guys to get that done. Sort of chop chop. Let's fire some of our um, the weavers workshop. This is way less important. Second coop. Yeah, we need to get the oil workshop stat. Stat. Weavers workshop is like the least. These are these are like super unimportant. All these things are unimportant. Let's pause these. Let's pause these. I don't think we need so many people working on this. It's not really a rush. We'll, we'll get the, 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 I don't think food goes bad, right? Sunflower doesn't go bad. It doesn't seem like there's any sort of a, a, a supply limit for how much the farm can hold. It doesn't seem like it ever rots or anything like that. So 
I, I there's really no rush to process this. Sunflower is one of the hardest crops to sort of like be producing uh, in in sort of a mass. I don't think we need to do potato. I, th I think we could do another sort of buckwheat, uh, hemp, into rest. Let's let's try to do two of the or the buckwheat. Sorry, sunflower. Let's do two of these sunflower rotations, and then over here we'll do a uh, buckwheat and a potato. I don't know, and then wheat and a potato. Uh, wheat and a buckwheat. Since it's it's gonna be. I don't know. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed, but you can see food diversity is becoming an issue. Now, I don't find that this actually matters as much as long as they have some food. It seems to be okay. It just seems to be fine. I don't, I don't think people are going to move out because they don't have enough. Uh, you can see the wealth is accumulating massively. Now, that is kind of a pro. I'm going to say that's a problem um, because I think that means we're p basically people, they're not paying enough for rent. They're getting too much in wages. They're just being paid too much, right? Just in a general sense, people are being paid too much. And the way we can kind of fix this is you can go into here and, and reduce wages. We can just go down here and say, hey, if you work as a fisherman, I'm going to reduce your wage, you know. Um, but let's get people working as, as fishermen. However, uh, the town hall is a way that you can macro manage that in a nice way. And it seems like, to be honest, what the heck, guys? This only costs clay, wood, nails, and we got all this stuff. We got all this stuff and in, 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 in accumulated. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're making more nails. Everything's fine. I think I think there's no reason why we can't build the town hall already. No reason why we can't build the town hall. Although the thing that I'm wondering is I don't really see a good spot for the town hall. So maybe we actually want to... Maybe we want to build the town hall like across a river. Like maybe the town hall can sit out here. That'd be kind of neat. So maybe we do actually want to build a bridge. Bridges are pretty expensive, but let's get that building. Let's get that going. It doesn't block the fishing boats. They just sort of cruise underneath it. Uh, it ends up working out fine. I think that'll be a nice little path right there. Nice. So let's build the bridge. And then after the bridge, we'll build the uh, town hall. Once we have the town hall, we should be able to actually start charging people more for rent and paying them less in wages. And there we go. And then they will no longer be able to accumulate such massive wealth because they started with 10 bucks. So like their money is just going up, right? Now, I hope that in the future that's meaningful and that like that actually like when their family goes out and lives in a new house, they take some of that wealth. And it sort of means that they're sort of getting a good jump start in life. I, I really like the idea. I really love the idea of the wealth, but it doesn't seem to be in the current state of the game. I, I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to be that there's any actual like sort of benefit for people just getting tons and tons and tons of money s soaked up. Um, and it just seems like what you're trying to do is you're trying to balance out wages and rent in such a way that people sort of just have enough for all the things that they need. And they can accumulate a little bit of wealth, but it doesn't seem to just accumulate like so quickly, right? This is hundreds, all, this money didn't just come out of nowhere. This is money that we're paying from our treasury to these people. So, I mean, it's like all of these people have like 50 to 75 more or more in some cases sort of ducats than what we originally, uh, what they originally had. That came out of our, our, out of the city coffers. We still need, we're going to have to have one guy working here. Let's pay him a lot less though. You know, labors, that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, let's start reducing them down to 70%. Okay, this guy got the iron crate, cool. Let's bop you off. It doesn't seem that like the wage doesn't seem to affect people's desire to work in a location, which I think is a little goofy. Oh, what we could do here, a yeah, chip, chicken coop is made chicken coop is made we can actually set what we actually want to sort of preemptively store here i don't want to store sunflower it's a very difficult crop to grow um, i would rather that uh that we don't worry about that let's store like as much water as we can but to do that we're actually going to need a platform i think we're going to want an actual platform so that we're not using a higher end uh sort of uh we're not using well water which is like the good drinking water 
Speaking of which, what we could do is we could go here and say this is only for citizens, not for production. This is only for citizens. And eh, we'll keep one of them for production just in case we end up sort of messing up here. But once this gets built, uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to get water uh, from here for the chicken coop very easily. So we'll be able to. So we're accumulating a lot of water. Let's just you know let's go for like a good amount of wheat if they're willing to hold on to that. And you know what? What the heck? If there's buck wheat, buck wheat lying around, let's grab that too. So this it doesn't ever seem to go bad, right? So if we could just hold on to that much food here, just keep that as sort of a baseline. That's gonna be a lot of chicken feed. It's gonna be a lot of chicken feed. It is gonna take a little bit away from our initial reserves initially while we try to uh, fill that up and stockpile that up for the chickens. I don't even have any chickens right now at all, you know. Okay, these guys are willing to buy five thousand charcoal. Nice. Deal. Let's get somebody working here. How many people are looking for jobs? We only have one open vacancy for men. Now the thing is we don't really need, we can't go fishing in the winter. So we can just boot those guys out of there. But it is a good time to sort of build boats, prepare boats and stuff like that. Because we are start, start, starting to work on this boat here. We do have someone working in the carpenter area. However, they don't need to be permanently working there if the carts are fine. One thing that bothers me about the carts and the carpenters and the boat workers is they do not keep the vehicles full condition. They only repair them once they're destroyed. So like instead of in the wintertime, well, let's repair the carts. Well, it's wintertime. That makes sense. Let's top them off. Let's get them in good working order. Let's maintain them. No, this guy's doing nothing. This guy's literally just sitting here doing nothing because we're not ordering new carts because we're not fixing broken carts. So there's a lot of micromanagement where you have to keep assigning this guy all the time. When I feel like ideally it'd be cool if he was just keeping these carts in good working order. Same with the boats, right? Like if he was just keeping the boats in good working order, that would make sense to me. So we can kind of like bop that guy off of his job, but we can just get another cart parking location. in order to get more carts sort of in the system. Are they going to be able to slip through there? I don't know. I might be pinching off the clay pit a little bit, but it is what it is. Okay, he's leaving with charcoal. Nice. The traders are getting their charcoal. Now, do we have both of the market stalls? Are they doing fish? Yes, they are. So, because we are going to be generating fish, uh, one of these we could actually have one of these doing uh, the sunflower oil, because we know we can hire someone to start working on that now. Let's make sure we're not paying them a full price. Yeah, I don't know why we would necessarily need wheat to come in here. Like at a certain, don't we want like all of our wheat to come in here basically? Here, if you want to store up to a thousand wheat, just go ahead and grab as much as you can, man. Same with you here, grab grab as much as you can. See, it seems like a thousand is the most that we can do there though. If it's out there to grab, go ahead and grab it. That's not a problem, dude. Did I, did I reduce his wages? Yeah, I did. So I think most of the wages of the dudes have it has uh, has come down we can go to the farm here and reduce wages a little bit um and such see we have two thousand of all this stuff we don't even really need to be working her there right now we can wait till we run out of thatch and he just wants to accumulate a certain amount of wood i think that's fine i mean we could even have you go up to like five thousand if you want just to have it on hand ready to go why not what is, what is just one of those things we just have in, in plenty, you know what I mean? But we are clearing back the forest here. Now, the trees do come uh, grow back, but it, it takes them uh, it takes them a long time. It takes a long time for these big, massive trees to grow, as it does in real life. And, and like I said, the time scale in this game, the way people age up, the way things progress, the way things happen, really does feel very much more grounded than in a, than in a Banished. Do we have any builders? We actually do have some builders. Let's, let's start letting these people build stuff if they want. That'll be fine. Although it is, it is season for, it is it is season to uh, to have people sort of out here planting. 
Looks like everybody's out here planting though, so I feel good about that. Like we seem full up here. Because it's not showing the more labor slots. So I'm guessing this is the best we can do? Question mark? Maybe? One of these fields, field number three, is actually followed, so there's not gonna be much going on there. We're gonna have a good amount of buckwheat pouring in. Food reserves for one year. Well, we don't have any chickens here, so I would assume the food reserves would be like quite for for would be more than one year. Maybe that's if we have 30, maybe it's a, calculating it based on if we had 30 livestock, I'm not sure. So we're getting food in the chicken coop. That is very important. If you forget to do that preemptively, your chickens will just starve to death. We've, we've had that happen a time or two. We've had that happen a time or two. We're going to be building some more houses over here. That's going to be a pretty tight little alleyway there, to be honest. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not minding how the pathways are sort of reconforming to the new space. Um, I'm just kind of thinking the cow shed, right? That's kind of the next. And we will want a pasture for that. And maybe that could kind of go out this way. I mean, maybe we could have some houses along the forest here. Cow shed over here, big pasture out here, maybe another farm. Who knows, right? More houses along here. I mean, maybe the cow shed actually should be along here because we could have more houses along here. I don't mind that. Sort of just taking up this sort of kind of awkward space. And then the pasture can kind of be out here. The cool thing is the cows can actually use followed fields as pasture. And I think that might help with the refertilization of the fields, which is super cool. Um, I haven't played enough to notice if that actually works out that way, but that'd be super awesome if that's how that works. So do we want it facing the bridge like that or do we want it kind of facing the water? Do we want it kind of facing the town like more over here? This is our town hall. That could be kind of neat, a little sort of park area out here. That could be awesome. And I think actually the town hall, call me crazy, but I think a lot of this stuff we like we kind of want before like the weaver's hut and, and a bunch of stuff that's not particularly that useful. Although. We are going to be getting some hemp. Eh, it looks like next year we'll start getting some hemp. So we got we got plenty of time to make the beavers hut. And I'm thinking once we build these, it'll kind of remove um, this tent here and sort of clean up a little bit of the space we have in the center here. And, and potentially we'll be able to fit something in there if we care. Okay, there's our there's our cart stall area, and we can order carts. So we could just be building carts uh, if we had a carpenter that was working there. So they'll be able to use the metal parts that we've been making for a while and uh, and start uh, start uh, building carts and stuff so we can have just more carts in that rotation of getting broken and then needing repairs and so on and so forth. And it kind of gives a little bit more validity to this dude's job uh, having more carts to, to work on. Oh, no one's working. No one's fishing this season. That was kind of a mistake. We do want a lot of people fishing. Um, yeah, we're kind of at that point where we're running out of people for work did we successfully sell any charcoal when we did that order I don't know if we did yeah I don't know if we actually successfully sold or if we didn't have enough time or if it expired or something because we still have 8,000 here I'm not seeing a bunch of money up here I don't know I don't know things are coming along though guys and we're in year two heading into to winter are we we're in year three we're heading into winter three aren't we the third winter coming up and everything's going well we're building a townhouse and, and to be honest guys we've built most of the buildings in the game i mean there's a little bit of production buildings based on sort of slaughtering um the pigs and cows and things there's different livestock buildings there are sort of like the shoemaker and the tailor and stuff like that and that's neat and all but not really like there's not a lot of systems in the game that we need to build those. People don't demand clothing. Um, and it's not really tracked like that. It's just sort of something that we can just make money with. 
Yeah, for some reason, like, we did this. I I'm going to wait till the demand comes up a little bit. I'm not that interested in these guys. That's fine. We got plenty of money in the bank. We're not we're not desperate to do a trade. We'll just wait till it's a nice, clean 8,000 and do a big sale for them in the future. I mean, people are complaining about food diversity, right? But that's something we're trying to fix. See, they want three different kinds of food. They got flour. They got flour for days. We're doing good a good job on flour. Sunflower oil, we have that sort of in a limited quantity right now. And then we should be gathering fish. And fish should hopefully be a large uh, a large bit there. Now, this is saying only produced dried fish. We need, in order to make dried fish, you have to have salt. You have to have salt and you have to buy salt. So I don't know if it's worth buying. Like, we could buy this salt for 0.1 per unit, right? And that's just, and then we could use that to make dried fish, which is a different kind of food. That's fine. But the funny thing is, oh, I was going to show you guys, we could just buy flour, which is a food that's ready to be eaten for the same price or less. So it's like, why would we buy salt? We probably could buy dried fish for about the same price. So the salt thing, we need a way to be able to produce our own salt or it needs to be cheaper to buy so that it makes sense, or there needs to be a benefit to having dried fish versus just fish. These people would be perfectly fine just eating fish. They don't They don't need it to be dried fish. It is true that dried fish and fish would be more food diversity if they had like both those things. Um, and it certainly makes sense that dried fish would be a higher luxury because it's a more processed food, right? That totally makes sense to me. Like potatoes you would think would be one of the lowest Fish and potatoes would be like some of the lowest sort of food quality that you could give people, but it doesn't seem like that system's currently in the game right now. It doesn't seem like there's any benefit to the actual individuals, the citizens, uh, for giving people like better food. These people are just getting filthy rich over here. Filthy rich over here. This is where the town hall will be able to tax them. Well, not really tax. We won't literally be able to tax them, but we'll be able to charge them more in rent. So I guess like a property tax or something. Um, and then hopefully, you know, maybe lower their wages a bit and, and start sort of extra re extracting out this, this money. It's funny when you talk about this, it's funny hearing this, but that's kind of that's kind of one of the things is like you notice that like, OK, we need to kind of break even up here. And why are we not breaking even? Well, it's because all of our money is just getting piled up in giant chests, chests of gold in every single one of these homes of our of people that live in our village. Well, meanwhile, our, our town could be going economically bankrupt. Guys, this has been Ostriv. This has been Ostriv. We can we can continue to to play the game and, and build out the village. We can continue to oh, we want those chickens. We want those chickens though. Deal. Let's buy 20 chickens. Let's make sure there's a guy here ready to unload. So we could we could continue to play the game and, and poke around at all the things, but we don't need to explore everything that's in the game right now. But I will say there's probably about 10 hours of content in this game right we've only played it for a couple hours just with these with these episodes and uh, we've already explored like a big chunk of the game and and we could just make the villages bigger and better and we could we could sort of explore some of these other livestock production chains and we could look at the lime works and the lime kiln and, and stuff ultimately there's nothing to do with lime though so we could we could just sell this stuff I mean, so so you can see that there's like there's these different systems in the game there's these different resources but some of them just kind of like don't have like an end to them like like we can make a lime and we can go through this lengthy process of making it into a usable lime but we don't actually use that to build homes even though like the way that this this white washing is lime so maybe there's higher level homes that eventually will need lime maybe there's certain buildings eventually that will need lime but right now that doesn't seem to be the case we can't make salt we can't make iron we can't like really make stone except for just sort of gathering it up off the ground with the stone cutter but that only is for a limited time so so there's different things in the game that are clearly coming in the future right including you know obviously just even just education and health and probably more different government buildings more different kinds of housing buildings more different kinds of religious buildings but for the most part we have ourselves uh, a good look at uh, the state of the game currently and some of the uh, really interesting aspects of Ostrid. But thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out during this series. Of course, there's a playlist linked down below if you missed any of the episodes. And please ask some questions if you have any, and we can we can talk about those in the comments, guys. But thanks, everybody, for being here. I will see you guys in the next one.